Ashley here, here to talk to you guys about how music affects people. One way how music affects people is in your exercise. You know when you're getting really tired, your body is actually sending signals to your brain saying you need to quit, man. You need to just take a break, man. But when you listen to music, that actually competes with your brain and it actually overrides those signals to actually help you push through your workout and get it done. When you're doing tasks or household chores or even homework, you're able to block out everything and focus on that one thing. You can work more efficiently and actually gets the job fat gets the job done. Also, it helps the mind and body. It relieves stress. If you have heart problems or respiratory problems, that it, if you listen to calm, relaxing music, it will actually benefit you. If you do actually lift, listen to music, it will actually help you get over that problem. Also in premature babies that they studies show that if you actually let a ba premature baby not listen to music to one that actually does listen to music they say it will actually benefit the baby and it actually will help the ba premature baby gain weight which is pretty crazy. Some ne negative effects of music is that towards adolescent children and teenagers that um, once they hear these lyrics like towards racism, sexist, um, violence, um, it will actually let them know that it's okay. Like if, if there's a song about it, I mean, it's happened, so it's okay. I can do it. I mean, it's all around the world, so why can't I just do what makes me happy? Actually, studies show that a kid that listens to punk or heavy metal music, that they are actually prone to actually do drug abuse or suicide risks or even cause harm to others which is pretty pretty self-explanatory I mean not every kid is like that but mostly all of them are pretty messed up if they're listening to that all the time and just stay in their room all quiet and just don't know how to relate to the world they just blocked out also negative effect of music that it changes our um, availab availability of time like freaking call time or call holds or music holds I mean um, what's the meaning of that you get put on hold and you gotta listen to music like why but actually it actually lets you know that you're not wasting as much time as you think you are because you're listening to music it's because our brain capacity is so much that if something is using up that brain capacity, then we actually don't realize what's going on around us and we just we lose track of time and we don't really see it. Also in places where you can where you wait, like the doctor's office or retail stores, they they literally use music to distract you from how much time you are wasting and how much time is going by with you just listening music and standing in line like alright do I really need this autograph from freaking Kirk Cobain who's dead like that's how much time you're wasting and my personal preference of music is that I am so spiritually in love with music that it runs through my bones and my blood it just everything about me like when I hear the right note combination it just hits me right at home like I feel like it hits every every spirit in my body, it controls every motion I have and it just speaks to my mind and my body. It's it's a psychological thing and a spiritual thing to me. I I don't know what I wouldn't do without music, but music isn't just in in your iPhone or your in your iPod or even in bands. Music is all around us. It's in the world, it's in our families it's everywhere music is in everything and it's everywhere all we have to do is listen thank you